In this easy watercolor tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to paint this landscape with trees and mountains in Procreate. Please download tutorial files before we begin, and if you are ready, let's get started. Let me go ahead and import a Procreate file with textures. You will find it in the tutorial bundle. It has a couple of texture overlays and an empty layer that says your painting here. This is where we will start painting. In addition to this Procreate file, you will also find a brush set and a color palette, which are free to download. Most of the brushes are from my newest set that I shared on Patreon recently. Full set has 26 brushes total and 3 canvases. If you want to check it out, please visit my Patreon account on the link under the video. If you join right now, besides this set, you will get access to tens of more premium Procreate brush packs and exclusive video tutorials in different styles. Free 7 days trial period is still available. Now without further ado, let's proceed with the drawing. First of all, we need to rotate the canvas to make it vertical. The landscape will have a few layers. There will be mountains and trees. And I think we can start with the mountains. So let me go to the color palette and select color number 6. Also from the brush set, we can select the brush called Tree Line Opaque. Now with the size set to around 19%, let's draw diagonally from right to left, starting approximately from here. Go down and paint without lifting the pencil up from the canvas. We will get this nice edge. Now we can add another layer under it. And pick color number 5. So we can draw another mountain. This time on the left. We can make it rather curvy. Just going up and down. Let's paint it this way. And then create one more layer. We need to drag it down. And then pick color number 4, which is even lighter. Let's try to set the size to a small amount, like 15%, and draw another mountain behind. It'll have one peak. We can just draw it this way. And now we can start adjusting. If we go to transformation, we can move it a little. And then using liquify, I will first set it to push. So we can fix the shape. I will drag it this way. Just push it to different sides. Make the size even smaller. And make it look like this. Since this mountain is located further, we can work on the edge a bit more and make it smooth. So from the same menu, we can switch to edge. I will keep the size at 31%, pressure at maximum, and there is no distortion or momentum. We can just start moving around the edge. Up and down. Let me also do it on this side. And now we will get smooth edges. So we can deselect it and then click on the finger to remove the sharpness at the bottom. From our brush set, we can pick this blender brush. It doesn't have any color, but it works great as the smudge tool. Let's just set the opacity to around 80% and adjust the size. I will first set it to 32% and try. Just working on the edges like this. inside these mountains. Now this is done. 
we can go to the next mountain. Then go to liquify back again. And start with push. Let me increase the size first. I will drag it up here. Just to make it look nice. It can also go up and down like this. Changing the size here and there. And now I think it is ok. We can keep it slightly textured. Then also go to the smudge tool. And remove it from this mountain. So we don't see any lines. Once we are done with this mountain, let's go to the next one. Which we painted first. Let me also work on the edges in the beginning. I think I like the shape as it is. But I will make the edges slightly smooth. So I'm picking edge. I will just do it a little bit. Let's go down. And after we did that, we can also add some more colors. And to do it easily, we can go to adjustments and select hue saturation brightness. But instead of applying it to the entire image, we can click here and switch to pencil. Now we need to select a brush. So let's tap here and pick this watercolor brush called Wash. It is from my old watercolor brush set. The opacity can be set to 80% and the size is at 72%. If we look at this menu, we will see that the hue is set to 30%. So let's try it. I will move my pencil at the lower part of the mountain. And the color will change slightly. It will become more green. If we now tap on the canvas, we can apply it and continue adjusting colors more. Let's change the hue first and lower the brightness to make the edge darker. I will start drawing here on top. We can make it even darker. And continue adjusting the hue. I want to make it more bluish, so I think around 60 or 59 percent will be fine. Just a couple more strokes. And now I like how it looks. We can go ahead and deselect it. Now let's go back to Smudge tool and from Calligraphy pick Water Pen. Let me try to make a few strokes. I think the size is too big. So I will lower it. And also lower the opacity. I will set it to 80%. And do this with the edge. Just making strokes going up and down. So it will look like grass or smaller trees. We can make a few longer strokes this way. Maybe also here. And it will be enough. When the mountains are ready, we can add some mist. But before doing that, we can also change the background color. For that we need to create a layer under all layers. Pick color number one. And just drag it on the canvas. To fill it all. I think I will make it a little bit lighter. Like this. Then grab a razor. 
we can set it to soft brush from airbrushing and remove it from the mountains so they keep original color I think that's better now let's add a layer here go to the color disk and grab white color now from organic brush set we can pick one of the brushes they both will work it can be rainforest or cotton cotton is more soft so i think it'll work better here it can be set to maximum opacity and I will increase the size a little bit to around 17%. Now let's start making strokes at the bottom of this mountain. Going up. It can go a little outside. But then we need to go to the finger and pick our blender. So we can make it even softer by pushing it up and down. We can even try to make circular strokes. I will remove it from the background as well. And in order not to keep it too white, we can lower the opacity to around 89%. Now after we did it, let's do the same with the next mountain. We have it here on this layer, so we can create another one above it. We need to switch back to brush. And make a few strokes like this. Then also smudge it. We can make the size even bigger here. And do it like this. Then also lower the opacity of this layer to around 89%. I want to remove this gap, so I will just go to the layer with the background and push it down using liquify. Ok, now it looks much better. All right. Let's now go to the last mountain, which is on the front, and add a layer on top of it, so we can also add this fog. I will continue using the same brush, maybe just make the size a little bit bigger, and paint like this. Then we also need to smudge it. Here we can increase the size even more. And smudge the edge this way. Pushing it up and down. Alright. I think I like it as it is. So we can start adding trees. If you like you can merge these layers already, but I will keep them, in case I want to change them later. So we need to create a layer above this one, go to the brush set, and pick a brush with pine forest. Going back to the color palette to select color number 7. Let's now set the size to around 
and try to make strokes. I will start from the left side. Go down first. Then it can also go up like this. So we create a forest line. Let's go a little bit down. This brush has color dynamics, so you can get different results with any new brush stroke. You can try and see what you like. Ok, I think now I'm satisfied with it. Maybe I will just go to adjustments and make it a little bit brighter and a little bit less saturated. I've set brightness to 51% and saturation to 47%. Now we can actually go back to this layer with the fog and paint a bit more. So I'm selecting white color again. And now from recent brushes, we can grab cotton. I will just make a few more strokes. Like this. I won't even smudge it, so it'll get some texture as well. Now that's better. We can go back to this layer and create another one above it. So we can add another line of trees. From the color palette, let's pick the next color number 8. Since the trees will be closer to us, they will be more saturated and a little bit darker. Let's just make sure to select Pine Forest brush, even increase the size slightly, because the trees will look a little bit bigger, and I will start drawing like this. Also moving up and down. We can lift the pencil up and make a few more strokes. Let me lower the saturation here. I think it will look more natural. So I'll set it to 40% and also increase the brightness slightly to 51. We can also move it a bit down and to make it move strictly vertical, we can go to settings and activate magnetics. Now I will start dragging it carefully down, like this. Alright. Now we can also add some fog between these two lines. For that I will create a layer between these two. Go to select white color again. And now if you go to organic, we can switch to rainforest. So it will look slightly different. But we will also smudge it. Let's set the size to 15% or so. And start making strokes. At the lower part. Let me make the size a bit smaller and paint a bit more. Then I will select our smudge tool, it's Misty Blender, and smudge it just a little bit. Like this. Let's lower the opacity a little, so it's not so white. This time I will set it to around 77%. It'll look like this. 
and before we add fog above this layer, we can draw another layer of trees. So let's create one and pick color number 9. Going to select this tree brush with pine forest and making the size even bigger at around 22%. These layers can even intersect. So I will start from the right side and paint going down. Then do it like this. Let me finish it at the bottom. Here on the front we will add more individual trees later. For now we can just paint it all like this. I think it is nice. If you like you can move this layer. But I think I'll keep it. So now we can go back here. Add another layer between these two. So we can add some fog. Going to select white color from the disk, we just need to double tap here, then selecting Rainforest from recent, and making some strokes, like this. It looks like clouds. I actually like this brush a lot. It's very nice. Let's just smudge it a little. I will increase the size and do it this way, pushing it up and down so it'll get soft. It can go up at some places so the trees will separate from each other and it'll add even more contrast to the painting. Let's just lower the opacity of the layer, same as we did before. I think this time I will set it to 79%. It'll be fine. Now we can finally work on the foreground and in the end add some more details, like fire watch tower and some birds. To make the foreground trees more detailed, we can try to use a different brush. It will be one called pine tree. I will be using only this brush. But if you are a patron, you can try any of these. They work similar, but have different look. Let's just create a layer above this one. We will add fog later. And from the color palette, I will select color number 10. Let me select the brush size. It can be around 38% and we just need to paint vertically. Here I will put a big tree, making a few strokes like this until you like the shape. Then I will paint a few more times on the sides, making some of the trees smaller. Here can be another one. And I will add a couple more on the right. This way. And then a bigger one. Now to add some contrast and details, let's do this. First duplicate the layer. Then tap on this end icon. And set this layer to add. He will get this bright green color. Now let's add a layer mask to it. And we will see black color here, so it will work as an eraser. Let's keep the same brush. And start making strokes on top of these trees. Just increasing the size. And 
making vertical strokes again. They will get sort of shadow. And I think it looks quite cool. Just a couple more strokes. Also we can go to adjustments and play around with the hue. Make it more yellowish or bluish. And we can play around with the colors. But first we need to switch to the layer from the layer mask. Then go to adjustments and play around with the hue. We can make it more yellowish or bluish. Just keep whichever color you like. I think I will set it to 41%. Now let's go to this layer with the tree line that was on the front and add a layer for the fog. Selecting white color is always. And rainforest. I think here we can keep it more textured. So I will just increase the size to like 15% and start making the strokes. Going upper. Let me try to lower the opacity to around 63%. But we can still see this texture. Now when this is ready, let's start working on the final details. I want to put a tower between these two layers. So let's find them. We have these trees here. Then there is fog. So we need to add a layer above it. Pick color number 2. And if we go back to the brush set, we can select this stamp. It will be very easy to use. So I've set the size to 15%. And all we need to do is just tap. Then we can move it. Let me remove magnetics. So we can drag it easily. I will put it somewhere here, a little bit on the right. Now let's go to inking and pick dry ink. So we can add some wooden columns and wires. With the size set to 7%, I will make a vertical stroke somewhere here. Then make it a bit wider on top. Let's now connect them. I will be applying lower pressure and make this arc. Then from here we can draw another one. It will be hidden behind the trees. Something like this. We can put another one on the left. Let's also connect this and maybe another one. Drawing vertically first and then making an arc with very low pressure. We can also grab a razor, set it to medium hardware brush and remove this line from the trees. Alright, now it is also ready. We can draw some birds. I will stay on the same layer. Just go to select color number 3. And also from calligraphy, we can pick water pen. 
draw very simple birds. Like this. I will put one here. And then one more. You can paint as many as you like. Let me add another one here. And that's it. Now the drawing is ready. Maybe what we can do is add some clouds. So this edge is not so sharp. For that I will go to the layer with the background. Add another one above it. And pick white. Now using cotton from organic. I will just make a few strokes behind the mountain with very low pressure. And just like this. The last step is totally optional. I just wanted to make it look more creative. So let's do this. Go to this layer and toggle the lace with the texture. So we can actually now see how it looks with only brushes. Now if you go to Actions, Add, Copy Canvas and Paste it, we will get all layers on one layer. Let's now tap and hold here to keep only this layer visible. And then bring back the textures. I will go to Transformation and scale it uniformly. Just make it smaller. I will center it like this. And next I will switch to Finger. Pick this blender brush again. We can lower the opacity a bit more, like to 70% and start working on the edges. Smudge them like this. I will go around the canvas. Then start lowering the size. And making strokes back and forth to remove the sharpness entirely. Let me also do it on top. Tweaking the brush size. Working on the right side. Just smudging it like this. A couple more. We can drag it to the side like this. For that I will lower the opacity again. So it will work as a wash. Alright. Now what we can do is increase sharpness on the entire composition. For that I will copy the canvas once again, paste it, go to adjustments and from this menu select sharpen. Slide a little bit to the right. Now the texture will pop up even more. And after this final step. Our watercolor landscape painting is complete. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials and brush sets, check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon!